if you've been getting this error, 887A0005, then uh, I might have a solution for you. It's probably going to be one that you probably haven't thought of, probably one that you haven't seen from anybody, uh, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, so it crashes, and everything's going to tell me to report it. Uh, what it is, is the XMP settings on your memory. I probably would have never thought it was going to be the memory because I've swapped out pretty much every other piece of hardware in my computer trying to troubleshoot this and uh, finally landed on the XMP settings. Uh, so we're just going to show it crashing once, uh, what it does. Sometimes I don't even make it past this, loading playlists in the player. Um, sometimes I do. Generally though, as soon as I get into a match, it will more likely crash than not. Um, it's honestly kind of annoying. Uh, a lot of people have suggested a ton of other fixes. You can delete your player profile from your C documents folder, verify your game cache, um, downgrade your drivers. Some people have actually thought that the newer graphics cards were the problem. So I swapped out my RTX 3070 to a 1066 gig and even swapped to AMD on an RX 480 and 56, uh, 5700 XT and had the same problems. So kind of narrowed down it being a hardware issue on the graphics card side. Um, I'm gonna see how long it lasts. It's probably not even gonna let me see an enemy before it'll kill it. Wow, I got a kill and it didn't crash. And this is a dead game anyway. There it is. It's usually what happens. Something about like that. You, you get into a good fight and then it dies. And there we have the crash. The application has unexpectedly stopped working. So we are going to go ahead and reboot. I'm going to show you how to turn off your XMP profile in case that is the problem. Uh, this is just going to tell me a bunch of stuff's open and it won't let me restart, so I'm restarting anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and start tapping the delete key. Most um, motherboards, it's going to be the delete F2 or it can be the F12 keys. Uh, you can look it up on your menu. At the bottom here, it says uh, F2 or delete for ASUS motherboards. All right, so this is the BIOS. Um, a lot of people might not have ever seen this or have never messed with it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward most of the time. Uh, it, but if you're ever, if you're concerned or anything, look at your owner's manual and it'll go over pretty much every screen about it. So what we want is the XMP profile. The easiest way to do this on ASUS motherboards is go to easy mode at the bottom. And DOCP, that is XMP profiles for AMD. I'm on a Ryzen 5950X. So profile one here, DOCP DDR4 3200. We are just going to disable it. So it's going to set it to 2133 instead of 3200. The other place you can see this at is if I re-enable it and you are in advanced mode, you can go to Extreme Tweaker and the AI Overclock Tuner will be set to DOCP. And then this is going to be your DOCP profile. Some RAM kits might have multiple settings here. Most of the ones that I've had have only had one XMP profile. Um, but we're just going to turn that to either auto here or when you go to easy mode, just make sure it's disabled. And then we're going to save and exit. It's going to tell me what I changed. So I changed it from DOCP standard to auto. And then the frequency is going to be set to auto. Latencies and other, other stuff is just going to be the defaults instead of running at the XMP or DOCP profile. So once we're back at the desktop, you can go ahead and open your task manager. This is the easiest way to tell if it's worked. So you go to your memory tab here, and at the bottom, your speed will say 2133. That is the default speed for DDR4. I forget what it is for DDR5. That should be all we need to do. We can go into the game and hit play. This is gonna tell me that the Modern Warfare didn't close out safely last time, so do I want it in safe mode? Generally, I just say no, safe mode has done absolutely nothing for me ever. Most of the time, it would, before, before it was crashing, it would let me get to this screen and I wouldn't even be able to click the skip button on the message of the day without it crashing. All right, so we're loading back up in the match. Looks like we kind of came in a little bit late. Uh, 
Oh, Thermite is so slow. But we got into a gunfight and didn't crash. Uh, most of the time it would have crashed right there. And that was a potato throw. But that is uh, turning off XMP. I, I just wouldn't have thought of that most of the time. I've tried swapping out RAM. I've tried uh, taking out half of my RAM because as you saw, I had 128 gig of RAM. Uh, most people probably don't have that much, but uh, I, I did try 32 gig and 64 gig of RAM and completely different kits of RAM to see if that was the problem. But it, it kept turning out to be DOCP or XMP. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't have thought of, I, I just wouldn't have thought of that. The other things you could try, you can go to your documents folder, call of duty players folder, and then you can delete all of this or just delete the players folder itself. Uh, that would stop you from, that would delete your profile and let it redownload because that might be bugged. That's what some people were saying. There you go. I hope that helps somebody. If it does, let me know in the comments below. Um, I really wish this game didn't have to do this. I've never had to have a game where you have to turn off XMP to be able to play it, but it is what it is. Hopefully this gets y'all through until they fix it. Till next time, peace.